Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Versus! Yeah! Today's fan requested battle is a rare battle. Get it? Because we're playing as rare characters. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing oh, as Luke. Diddy Kong, who is a rare creation from Donkey Kong Country, and Amber's playing as Banjo Kazooie, yeah! which is a rare creation from Banjo Kazooie. So, how this works? Yeah. First team to win uh, two matches is today's winner. So let's do this. Let's go. We're the K Wings husband and wife team that love playing games together, and you're watching K Wings Let's Plays. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a fun stage. Oh, Duck on Dog. I don't even remember who won the Duck on Dog Brawl. I think uh, maybe Banjo did. I think Banjo did. It's hard for me to believe that time. Whoa! What I like about the stage is look at it. Like, this is the aspect ratio that video games were when we were kids. I know. Whoa! What? No! I got this. Woohoo! Oh. And guys, more Smash Brothers will be happening this week. We're going to be uh, dividing things up between Banjo and Sans, because Sans is actually getting more requests than Banjo. I feel so bad because everybody's yeah. been waiting so long for Banjo, but all our requests are like Sans or Sans or whatever. The guy from Undertale. He's not uh, even a character. He's a, he's a me costume. We're pretty excited. I don't know why my controller seems to be going insane. Here. Oh, I know why. I, I could I could tell you Amber, but but I messed it up. Yeah, a little bit. I just beat up a duck. Whee! Also, I'm, I keep using the command cross on accident. It's because you're so used to playing River City Girls. Uh, yeah. And River City Girls is over, guys. We uh, no. completed the game. We were thinking about doing a new game plus live stream. Yay! Because we're so over overpowered, we'll probably get through it in like four hours, um, which would be kind of funny, but. Ooh. Look at me, I'm a little monkey. Boom. Boom. Oh! Get back to. Oh. I was hoping Diddy could come back from that, but he really couldn't. Peanut gun! Peanut gun! Boom! No! Yeah! Yay, there it is! This is my taunt. Ow. Taunt me again! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed! Oh, I missed! But I didn't! What? Dang, did he just... Wow. I don't know, but I just love the look of the birds when they get hit. It's just kind of funny. That seems pretty dark. It is... I mean, Duck Hunt was a really fun game, but it, they never tried to... I don't know. For like fun, what, sequel or what I would do to get adults to buy a Nintendo system, just like to really mess with them, is I would have a pack-in, like, brand new Duck Hunt game. Ooh. Especially for their VR system, like the, the VR goggles. I think it'd be funny. Yeah, I mean, oh. like, everyone liked Duck Hunt. I mm -hmm. really wish they would re-release... Oh, if I was... An old school. I mean, I am an old school gamer, but what I would love. Why can't you release a wireless uh, duck hunt like gun with the? Because the LCD TVs can't use a light gun. Uh... There was something in CR televisions that allowed that. I mean, you could probably use motion controls somehow. Yeah, that's what I would love, to, but have it oh. the shape of one of those like duck hunt guns. But Duck Hunt always made me feel so cool because I would, you know, be using this zapper thing and I would do like weird poses after I like shot a duck down. <laughs> really? You're like blam, blam, blam. And like, then be like blow, blow oh, yeah. on the, yeah. Do trick shots behind the head and uh, like just... pretend you're Indiana Jones or whatever or like I, some kind of I, buffalo I, Yeah, I pretended I was pretty cool. Yeah. Playing Duck Hunt. Except my dad was Top better gun. at Duck Hunt than I was. But I still had fun playing it. Oh, boy. I can never be this high score, especially when it came. Remember that Duck Hunt also had like the clay pots thing into it as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I uh, like. Did you ever just cheat and go right up to the screen? 
Yeah. <laughs> I did too. I had to. <laughs> I was like, I, I realized that, like, when you're playing, when you play ver like, I mean, I used to, like, kind of verse my brothers with that, where they would play, and then I would play, whatever, but it's like, when it was my turn, I would just, like, uh, you know, like, I, it was like nobody was prevented from just going right up to the screen. There was nothing that said, like, how far you had to be back. Yeah. Like, I would try to no make rules. I mean, I would try to make rules for myself sometimes. You know, like, ah! say you had to be on the couch or something. Why? But then everyone had their own definition of what being on the couch was. Like, no, that's like true. scoot it way forward where just one of your feet was, like, right yeah, yeah. on the couch. The couch. Gotcha. How does your thing reach so far? They improved his uh, final smash. It didn't used to be this good. Oh my gosh! Will Amber make it back before the ch stage change? Yeah, you did. You're fine. Wow. That's impressive. Banjo. Most impressive. I really hope that they have Banjo in more, like, Smash for their games in the future, but... No, this is, this is gonna be the only game, honey. Like... The amount of money that Nintendo paid third-party companies to have characters from SNK, Street Fighter, oh, yeah? Rare Games, no way this is ever happening again. Hold on to your Switch as long as you live. Yeah. Although, you probably need another one because... Well, actually, I don't even know how that's going to work. I mean, you'd have to have a, um, a cartridge of the game. Like, we, we probably should... We have digital copies. We should probably yeah. get a cartridge version of it as well, just because we don't know how long digital oh, stuff lasts. right. Yeah, you're right. Most of our Switch games, if you guys and gals didn't know, they're all digital. We have maybe 30 store-bought games or ones that developers send. Most of the times when we deal with companies, they send us digital products, which is fine. I mean, it, we get the product faster, we get it in, it's all set, all done. Man, just I... Just like we got a digital copy of uh, Lego Jurassic Park, which we're gonna have to at least live stream an episode tomorrow is what they want. I forgot to tell you that. Oh, okay. So, tomorrow, meaning today, that you guys are watching, there'll be a live stream for uh, the Switch oh. version of Jurassic Lego. You know that when we did Lego Jurassic Park, we were we told people we were gonna try to go through and do all, like, the 100% before, but we didn't have time. We never have time. Like, after we finish LEGO Jurassic Park as, like, a live stream thing, the week after that is a brand new Zelda game. And then there's some other games coming out. Did I either one of us win th this game already, this round? Uh, let's see, I have four lives left and you have... You have more lives, actually. You're winning, Amber. Oh, okay. I, I might have to change that. I don't know if I can, though. <laughs> Yay! Got a duck. <sighs> Hey, I offered for you to be Banjo if you wanted. Don't diss Diddy! <laughs> Diddy is awesome. Diddy is awesome. Ah, I got more ducks than you. I win. Hey, mm. this is so much nostalgia right now. I know! Like, even seeing, like, the little ducks on the bottom showing, like, how many you got compared to how many you lost. I mean, like... Oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention to that. You're right, the bottom screen is keeping track. Uh, oh, yeah, it actually is. I thought it was randomly keeping no, track. No, that's how many ducks that have uh, been beaten. Ow. I mean, playing Duck Hunt on the NES with that uh, NES... What do you do? What is what's it called? Into N NES gun or whatever? Zapper. Zapper. <sighs> that was hard, especially if you sat back like four or five feet from the... You know... A screen. I felt like it was pretty hard. Yeah. It was it was a great I mean it was such I feel like everybody had Duck Hunt because you would get Duck It was Hunt. a pack in game. Yeah, Duck Hunt was Mario One. I mean like so many people had it and like I I enjoyed playing it. I think that people actually enjoyed playing it. Oh yeah. It was like, fun. It wasn't just like, oh, this extra weird game that nobody likes. Like like, some of the games that they sell with systems Ooh. now, like, it was actually a lot of fun. Uh-oh. It's gonna fly away! No! It blew away! Because the, ah. uh, the, the, the dog would taunt you and stuff, like, laugh at you if you lost. Uh, you know, the birds had so much expression. It was actually kind of difficult, because they'd fly all over the screen. It was hard to get them. Yep. 
I think we're in round three of the ducks. Let's see. Yep, round three. I Look kinda, at that. I kind of <laughs> wish we had duck hunt. We didn't play as duck hunt dog on this stage. I didn't know where the. St I was I looking know. for the stages. I didn't realize that they made a duck hunt stage. It, I didn't realize they there's had so one many stages in this game. Like, it, I mean, think about it. Smash Brothers Ultimate is the ultimate Smash Brothers game. It has the ultimate amount of stages, ultimate characters. There's no way that they can make this any better than it is. Like, I, I don't see how. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. No, duck! Yeah! Hey, hey. Winning! So, my, my final smash actually counts for shooting ducks, too. Wow. I know! It's pretty cool. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, that that's what I always wish for, is like, uh, an NES. I mean, I really feel like they could make an NES sapper. Mm. With, like, an a one that looks like it, but just have the motion controls. I mean, you know, we, you play as the, with the little, tiny little, um, Joy-Cons, and those have motion controls, and you can press A and point those at the screen. Why could you not just make a gun out of the Joy-Cons? Like, make it the same way, but in the shape of an NES zapper. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get off my kick here. Get off your kick? No, I would love uh, that to happen, but I don't. I don't see it happening. Oh no! I just. I think like you were saying, what what would bring in old school people? That would. That would bring I mean, they're releasing a Sega Genesis Mini uh, this month. I. I did you I really, Did you hear about that or? Uh, something like I thought you told me, but you already got me several like different. I know, types but this is of... this is officially Sega. So, I mean... Yeah, I just, I can't have... I mean, I have... Uh, I got the Sega collection on the PS4. Oh, there's no way you'd be able to get it this year. It's already sold out. Like, I didn't pre-order it, uh, so there's no way. You know, I have a... I think you got me an old Sega Genesis. Like, from... Ooh. But, of course, it didn't look anything like my Sega Genesis. No. Mine was very tiny. Oh, no, you didn't get me a Sega Genesis. What's the one with the... With a... With Sonic, like, on the- on- standing on top, was that an actual Sega Genesis we have, or no? That's a special collector's, uh, thing that we got from something. Yeah, so that's not a Sega Genesis, I don't think- it, but it's in the shape of it. Hmm. Oop. Mm. Oh my gosh. Great, I better step up my game. Monkey power! I'm the coolest rare character. It's hard for me to know who I want to win because I love both series so much. I think I like Donkey Kong Country more than Banjo because well. how could I? Aha! Uh, uh -huh. How could I possibly not say that Donkey Kong Country is the superior franchise? Because, um, let's see, water music, um, that that beautiful like arrangement. Same of composer, water music. I believe, uh, who did Donkey Kong Country also did Banjo Kazooie. I, I have to say that. Donkey Kong obviously became the more popular series and more like, you know. It launched Banjo. So anyway, guys and gals, that is uh, the first match and it goes to Diddy. So woot. Awesome job. All right, let's go to the next match. I love them both. All right, guys, this could be it. Diddy Kong versus Banjo, who will reign supreme in the ra rare battle. Yeah, in this rare fight. And now I don't have Duck Hunt to distract me. Hmm. We actually got pretty far. We got to, like, round five of Duck Hunt. Yeah, we did. Uh, we were just kind of messing around, like, reminiscing. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yep. And, and uh, th this is random stage selection, guys, if you didn't know that. I don't know. It's so weird to me that, like, a lot of people watching us probably did not, like, play... Um, Duck Hunt as a kid, and... Oh, yeah. It's just... Although most of the people watching us, which I don't know if I'm really Actually, worried about we... the, the whole kid-friendly thing anymore, because I was looking at our data, and it says the people that watch us mostly are between the ages of 13 and 20. Oh, okay, So we don't have really... The Disney Infinity days are done. Like, well, we mostly have teenagers watch us. It's also... Did you hear how many kids, like said, like, after Disney Infinity and stuff, 
like, oh, my mom doesn't let me, like, watch YouTube videos anymore because she considers someone safe and stuff. Uh -huh. I mean, it, not to say, like, all the kids, like, don't watch us in particular. They're just not very many kids on YouTube anymore. Yeah, after Disney Infinity died and Skylanders was gone, I noticed that kids kind of migrated to, like, either YouTube kids or they just went to Whoa. Twitch. Why did you pick this stage? I don't <laughs> like this stage. It's creepy. I like the creepiness. It fits Why? these happy uh... characters. Boom. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> but yeah, no, I do feel like a lot of people don't and I, to be honest, I don't know if I can blame them because how can you control what your kid is watching when they're on YouTube? I mean, that's what we try to do, and we. Oh, try, I could do it. It's I, it's I actually mean, very to, easy. We try to do the best we can with making a safe place for them. How can you control what they watch after that? You know. There is a uh, option like if they have a YouTube account, uh, a parent can go in and they can switch off like anything that they deem inappropriate. There's a checklist. But then they have to like go through each channel. And, and no, they don't. The I'm the YouTube so algorithm selects the you know based on the quality of the the content that the people have. Unfortunately, we're already blacklisted, so. Like if you yeah, put on if that? you put on age blocking, you're not gonna Maybe find us anyway. Maybe that's why people can't find us because we're like age gated. Well, if if parents have age gating stuff on, then yeah. That is frustrating. But I mean, not for all of our videos, just for some of them, right? Half. Yeah. That's that's a lot. <laughs> Seven thousand videos and half of them are age gated. Yeah, like our Lego Batman series is yep. age, age gated. Lego Batman, Disney Infinity, Skylanders. It's all the really kid kid uh, ones that are age gated. It's all the yeah, the E ones, the Smash Brother ones, not so much. The like, I would say the character things like Turtles is fine. You want to know what I was amazed by? The other day, I was just looking at... Because we did have a little dip in views or whatever, but not too much. I mean, it's been consistent the past, like, eight well, months. I mean, YouTube is making a lot of changes. Well, I know that, but I'm, I'm saying even with the changes, we're still consistently at, at the same amount of views that we get a month. Two million, yeah. 2.5, 2.8 million, whatever. So, um, I saw a video pop up in our uh, currently watched, whatever, like, people that are watching right now. We had 6,000 views for the first episode of our Power Rangers Mega Battle series, which has been kind of on YouTube's radar for three years now. Nobody's been watching it. And all of a sudden, it popped up at 7,000 views. It was like, yeah, what? Yeah, so, so, so all of a sudden, it was visible in the search engine randomly. S something like that. So I checked, I checked the video, and I remember six months ago, I removed the family-friendly tags and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, yeah. I think it took six months for that video to re-hit the search engine. Yeah, so maybe that's what we have to do is... I, I did that. When I did that video six months ago and I re-tagged it, I re-tagged, like, eight other videos, and I'm waiting to see if, like, over the course of this week and next, if those videos pop up again. Yeah, if that's true, then we can actually check or redo some of the other ones. You can redo some of them, but it takes six months. Well, I mean, put me on that, because I'm going to be having... No, I mean, it, it takes six months for YouTube to, oh, like... I know, you know but... Re-add it to the search I could, engine. I could literally... You know, do that next semester because I'm only going to be having one class. Show me the videos and I'll. Yeah, I didn't. Them. I didn't select these stages, Amber. These are at random. Otherwise, if I selected it, we'd be on banjo stage. This is hero stage. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's all right. People saw uh, banjo stage at the beginning of this, and oh, plus, I, know. I really, really like oh, Dragon Quest. I know you do. I do. And we are only a couple weeks away, guys, for more of our Dragon Quest streams. I mean, I, I love Diddy Kong, obviously, but I, I just feel like Banjo, um, like, I feel like because Banjo was sold to Xbox, it didn't have the same opportunity to make as many games, and there's no way to know where it would have gone if it had stayed with Nintendo. Well, N64 wasn't really, well, it was somewhat popular, but it really didn't sell that well, and GameCube was targeted more toward people in their 20s, you know? Yeah. Um... And people who are going into college. Oh. Like, the people that grew up with Nintendo, that's what GameCube was uh, marketed as. I don't think you understand how amazing Banjo-Kazooie is. Ah. I never will, honey, because I miss that train. Like, to me, it just looks like another kid property. I'm sorry. 
You're making Banjo upset. I'm actually kicking Banjo's butt with I'll... Diddy. Banjo, <laughs> Banjo is fun for everyone to play. It's 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 like I mean, the Kong family was Ooh. fun and they're they're awesome. Like there's no one who can beat no. them. But I mean, you gotta give Banjo a chance. I don't. Oh my gosh. Am I am I making you angry? Are you uh, possibly possibly okay? Oh my god. Sadness! They have all kinds of fun humor and stuff in Banjo that they don't really have in, uh... I like Banjo better than I like Donkey Kong 64. I thought Donkey Kong 64 was kind of lame. Yeah, but you have to understand, if, if... If Rare... If Rare could do the job they did mm -hmm. with the, you know, Donkey Kong franchise, imagine, say, Banjo-Kazooie was still in, in that... You know, with Nintendo all those years, they would have had, you know, they would have had games for the GameCube. They would have had games for the Wii. Yep. The Wii. They would have had Game games Boy. for the Wii U and, and the Switch. Yeah, yeah. when Microsoft bought uh, Banjo, he only had, that I know of, only two games well, in the course of, you I know. I mean, look at the games that they had. I mean, what, what system was Donkey Kong Country on again? Super Nintendo. Oh, how come ba oh, Banjo didn't have a game for Super Nintendo? No, his his debut was on the N64. Yeah, he that, had two games on the N64. I, I would have liked to see, yeah, something more like the way that... I would have liked to see a Banjo-Kazooie game the way that uh, Donkey Kong Country was, you know? I think this is the only Smash Brothers game where if you're riding on the top of the platforms and you go out of sight, you don't die. Like the other Smash Brothers games, that's like an insta-death. You know, you say that so often and it's usually when I should have died. <gasps> no, I'm, I'm being serious though. Yeah, I know. But I mean, hey, Sakurai is giving me a break right now, okay? I'm gonna take it. Ouch. <laughs> you're making me like... I have negative thoughts about myself saying I should have died, but I didn't. Oh, snap. Uh, you know, uh, in other games, I always notice that monkeys, because they're small and wiry, they are supposed to die. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. I mean, who doesn't love Diddy Kong, though? He's so cute. It's... He needs his own, like, solo game. He did! It no. was Diddy, Diddy and Dixie Kong. No, no, no. I'm talking solo. What in the world? Dixie was... He has to have somebody with him. No, he doesn't. He should have his own game. Wait, what would be the fun in him just play? He did have his own game. Diddy Kong Racing. Technically, that also was a game that had other Donkey Kong Country characters in it. And it had Banjo in it, actually. Yeah. That was Banjo's first game. I didn't know that before you told me. That. I know. I didn't know it either. I was like, who is that weird bear that was in Diddy Kong Racing? And they're like, oh, that's Banjo's first appearance. I, it's like, I, what? I would have liked to see some of the other animals in that game as, again. Like, Pipsy the Conker's mouse. in it, too. Uh, I loved Pipsy the Mouse in Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. I loved Pipsy. I would mimic her little voice, like, Hi, Pipsy! Like, <laughs> that she would always do it before she raced. I liked the turtle in that game. It was fun. That was my fa- I actually enjoyed that game more than Mario Kart. Sorry. No. I loved my Icicle Pyramid. I can understand that. I mean, Diddy Kong Racing was pretty cool. We still have it on the DS, and I believe we have a copy on, on N64. But... I just, I could understand the controls better than Mario Kart. Also, it had like an adventure mode, story mode. Unfortunately, I mean, actually, I say we have it on the DS, but Amber and I attended a convention like eight years ago, and we brought Diddy Kong Racing on our DSs, and but it was it, gone. I understand what you're saying, but for me, what's the one with Diddy and Dixie Kong? That, mm, that was like Don Diddy. Donkey Kong... Uh, Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. Yeah, Diddy's yeah. Conquest. That's like his game. To me, that's his game. Because usually he's the sidekick. In that game, he was the main character and Dixie was the sidekick. Yeah. Okay, how about that's this? How, I always how about Retro Studios it. for the next like uh, Donkey Kong Country game that they do? They should do Donkey Kong Country uh, Redux and they have like Diddy and Dixie like work together again. I loved Diddy and Dixie working together. I always thought they were girlfriend and boyfriend. They are. Yeah, I really liked that about that. I thought that was cute. Because it just showed that, did, you know, Diddy was growing up and he had his own cute little girlfriend. 
It was adorable. It was adorbs. It was adorbs. Like, how could it be any more adorable than that? They already have their adorable family with Cranky Kong, Donkey Kong, Funky Kong, Candy Kong, Diddy Kong. And then, you know, their fun, <laughs> their fun, like, rap that they do for their family and stuff like that. I mean, like, there's so many fun things about, Whoa! you know, the Donkey Kong family that you can't even say how many fun things are about them. How many fun things, Amber? I, it's an infinity, Luke. An infinity amount of fun things. And then, <laughs> yeah. So it's really hard to compare Banjo, who had one... I'm sorry, but yeah, he technically had a second game. I'm sorry, I've never played the second Banjo Kazooie game. I don't even. I guess it was on the N64. I don't even know what system it was on. Which one? Banjo Tooie. 64. So. Oh. The N64, what was so interesting about that system, it was kind of a gamble for Nintendo because they released their sequels so close together. So, Ocarina of Time was uh, two, um, 1998, right? By 2000 or 2001, that is when Majora's Mask came out for the N64. Banjo-Kazooie, the first one came out in 98 or 99. The second one, uh, Banjo-Tooie or whatever, came out in 2000. So, I mean, they, yeah. they released, like, really close together. I mean, as much as I love, love, loved so many great things about the N64, mm. including not limited to the fact that it was in different colors and... You know, there was Rogue Squadron on it, which was unbelievable. Probably my top game on the entire system. Yeah. I have to say that all in all, if I could choose to only have one system and all the games, you know, like it would be Super Nintendo for over N64. Oh, yeah. Easily. I just I just feel like. Like, I mean, just... don't, don't get me wrong. I love the NES classic that or NES, whatever, that is built into the Nintendo Switch Online thing, but I'm more excited for the Super Nintendo feature that just dropped. Yeah, Super like, Nintendo had... That was my the childhood. Most, like, by far. I mean, Super Nintendo was, like, the golden age of Nintendo franchises. I just... Because... It just... It, it had games that were just unbelievable. It, like, it really... It made my childhood, like, so much better. Link to the past. Because the, the NES... I'm, I'm just I'm just putting it out there. The NES, for my family, it felt like the family's video game system. Yeah. Like, I wasn't... I, it wasn't in my room. Um, it was downstairs, and, you know, uh, there were a lot of games where you could play with other people, but the Super Nintendo... Yes, there were a lot of co-op games, but there were also a lot of fun adventure games that you played by yourself. Yes. Like, there was more of I a focus on that. that. So, when I got the Super Nintendo, it wasn't downstairs, it was in my room on a small CRT television the for pretty much everything. Super Nintendo was more like a game with, yeah. or I mean system, with games that you could, like, immerse yourself into. Mm -hmm. Like, you couldn't really do that. on. You can't really immerse yourself into Duck Hunt. And I'm not saying, guys, that there weren't, like, a lot of, like, two-player or single-player games on but. NES. But in my family, like, my dad liked Castlevania. He liked Mario. And, you know, he played the system, too. So it didn't but feel like it was my system. Having said that, now that I'm thinking of that, there were some phenomenal games on the NES. Oh, of course. <laughs> Yeah. But SNES was my favorite console. Until the yeah. Switch. The Switch is really, really shooting up there for me. I am surprised. Like, I thought the Switch was just going to be like, okay, let's just get money out of everyone that we basically haven't gotten money out of before and re-tweak games. But no, the Switch has been surprising to Banjo me. Banjo lost. <sighs> Wait, how many rounds have we did? Two. Uh, Diddy is the winner for rare. <laughs> also, his hat used to say rare on it. And You're right! Oh my gosh, Luke! Yeah. All right. Oh. So anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. We had a lot of fun. We hope you did too. And we will see you with more Smash Brothers this week. But it's going to divert between Banjo and Sans. Sans. Sonny. <laughs> something. What, something. Sans. Undertale guy. God bless and happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching. Keep those requests rolling. And we hope you guys enjoy the end of River City Girls uh, sometime this week. Bye-bye. Hey, see ya.